moving on from that one, I've also wanted to say that I've been enjoying, oddly enough, Nicki Minaj's new album, Pink Friday 2. Um, I've always had a bit of a, I wouldn't say love-hate relationship with Nicki Minaj. I think I just hated that Starships era. And I think that kind of tainted her music for me. But when she went through that pop phase, where she became the biggest star in the world, because I think that pop phase definitely is the one that took her global. I just kind of had to hop off. But one thing about Nicki is that she's definitely proved in this album. And I think it's, there's some parallels here with Doja Cat. I feel like with Nicki Minaj, even if you don't like her music, listening to her rap, listening to her put together songs, listening to the themes, the melodies, the choruses, the song construction, the sequencing on the album, even just the artwork and stuff, it's clear to see that she is levels above every other female artist in hip hop, R&B, whatever it may be. She's another level and it's not even close. And that's a really weird thing about women's rap or whatever. There's not really any of her, there's not really anybody coming up that you could say with the exception of maybe Doja Cat and maybe even SZA and R&B who are really kind of on her level in terms of artistry and shit, which kind of makes you understand why she's so arrogant, why she's so confident, um, why she's so cocky, why she's so brazen, because she knows, you know, she's really that B-I-T-C-H. And this album is a proof of it because... I listened to this entire thing in, in the gym and I was fucking bopping along to it the entire time. Absolutely amazing album. Really well put together. A deluxe, I think, dropped recently as well with, I think, like eight bonus tracks or something, which I haven't listened to just yet. But so far for me, Pink Friday 2 is absolutely splendid. Really, really refreshing to hear something um, this good from a female rapper because I think most of them nowadays are pretty shit. So it's good to hear somebody like that can actually rap, that can actually put together a good song um, that isn't just talking about sucking the fucking all the time. So that was really entertaining. And she's just, she just good, good to listen to. I'm, I'm a sickler for voices when it comes to rap. That's one of the reasons why I've never really been a big fan of Big Sean because his voice is just so nasally and annoying and shit even though he's an amazing rap rapper he just has got an annoying voice so this is one of the main things why I finally why I honestly do like about Nicki because she's just got that perfect tone when it comes to rapping one of, some of my favourite tracks to point out here would be um, FTCU track 3 on the album um, I loved I'm not gonna un unashamedly so I'm not even gonna lie I may, I may have shed a tear when I listened to track 6 Let Me Calm Down featuring J. Cole I don't know what it is about that track that made me tear up and maybe emotional but that was absolutely banging i absolutely loved it also loved the following track track seven um r&b featuring little wayne and somebody called tate kobonga which i'm not really too familiar with so big up nikki for putting somebody on um i love the fucking drake track um fucking needle um the drake thing's been interesting because i don't know if i've seen i don't know if this matters and stuff but i don't know if i've seen any like posts and stuff from him like congratulate Nikki on the album. I know because you know artists are big on that sort of stuff, right? They they really they really um get sensitive about other artists not posting their music. But I'm not really sure I've seen Drake post anything about her album, which is odd. But she's he's on the album anyway. Um, that track Needle with Drake is absolutely banging. Absolutely love it. Obviously, everybody with Louis Uzi Vert is a banger and definitely gonna be a hit single when it does eventually drop. Um, so it's gonna be a hit single when there's a video for it as well. Um, but it's definitely you know tearing up the places and I can't I, can't Im I can imagine the remixes too will be absolutely crazy um red ruby the sleeve 13 also i liked and i think this is proof that album sequencing does really matter album sequencing really does matter because album sequencing can really make i remember somebody saying the same thing about kanye yeezus i remember, i forgot what the track was on yeezus but i remember somebody saying that Maybe it was Kanye actually. He, I think he said he purposely switched the order of Yeezus so that it would be as most, it would be as abrasive and hard to kind of like and get into as possible and challenge the fucking listener and really push things forward. He said, I think he said if he if he would have switched it the other way around and maybe had like blood, I think it's blood on the leaves or something else as a first track, people would have liked the album more. And I think the same thing goes for this Nicki track, like Red, Red Ruby the sleeves. I honestly don't think I liked the single when it dropped i didn't really like it but then listening to it in sequence fucking suspended um the forward um forward from trini with um skang and skilly bang as well was really good um and i also enjoyed bam 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 kind of reminded me of this one 112 rap album single but i can't for the life of me remember which one it is i know it's got another sample on it um but there's something about Bam Bam that kind of reminded me of like a 112 song. I don't know which one it is, but I like that also. And another one of my songs that I also really loved was uh, um, Nicki Hendrix featuring Future, another track number 19. I think they're a very underrated duo together. I love the sound of them together. And then, of course, um, The Last Time I Saw You, 21, is a really, really great, great, great track. But honestly, 
super 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 banging um and as you can see here courtesy of um of genius they're saying here that how did the songs on the album perform commercially during the tracking week of end of december 22nd the total of 14 tracks from the album have debuted in the fucking hot 100 chart so clearly everyone else agrees too that the album is absolutely smacking because 14 tracks from the album are in the um, hot 100 100 which is fucking crazy but yeah definitely recommend you check it out if you haven't already Nicki minaj pink friday 2 is absolutely banging and she also confirmed pink friday 3 coming soon so it's gonna probably be the i guess the end of the series but definitely pink friday 2 absolutely tough absolutely tough